Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be giving a general tutorial on how to switch your printer from printing on USB to printing via a network so multiple computers can connect to it at once. In a previous video, I did a review on this network switch here, and that was so that I could have my printer and my computer on the same network. Uh, before the printer was connected to just my computer via a USB cable, and that is really limiting because it only can print from whatever one device it's connected with USB. But using a network cable, you can connect it to pretty much any device on your network, including my cell phone I can print from it. So, I'm going to show you the process on my computer that I mainly use, how to switch from printing via USB to print via the network. It's actually much easier than you think. I have an HP 402DN printer and it's a very basic printer. It prints just black and white only. But this process is going to be extremely similar regardless of the brand. Um, there are going to be some parts where I'll point out that are like, hey, depending on your brand, this is going to be different. So, to start, let's go ahead and go to your computer screen here. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I push my start button down here, and we'll type in scanner. So, what you'll see is a bunch of options, and the one you're looking for is printers and scanners. This is gonna be the same on Windows 10 versus 11. Um, Windows 11 kind of forces you into using this user interface, where Windows 10, it is a little bit different if you're more familiar with computers. You go into like control panel, and then devices and printers, things like that. Um, but this is the same process on either one if you go to printers and scanners. You'll then find your printer that is connected via USB. You can see I have mine here, the HP LaserJet M402DN. If we hit that little drop down arrow here, it takes us to another page. Sometimes it does a drop down. Um, and then we want to go to our printer properties. So there's printer preferences, um, and then there's just preferences. We want to go to printer properties. Here, this is going to be extremely similar from brand to brand to brand. This is still the exact same regardless of your printer. You'll go to the ports tab right here. And then right here you can see it is connected via USB. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to add a port. Uh, we're not actually adding a port, we're just going to connect it via Ethernet port. Um, so what we'll do, we'll click add port. And then I'm actually gonna go ahead and switch over my printer from the USB to the network real quick. All right, so I'm gonna show you real quick. Okay, as you can see on my printer, it just says ready and it has an IP address. So if you have a very similar printer to me, it's gonna be that same way where it'll, it'll say ready and then it'll have the IP address. But if you have any other brand, this is where things will be very different. Um, you'll want to go and find your IP address. It'll be shown in a few different ways, whether it's going to be listed as an IPv4 address or the IP address. Um, either way, it is going to be a breakup of four numbers with periods in between each one. So 192.168.1.5 or whatever it might be. It could be any combinations of numbers that really isn't a problem but you do want to find out what address your printer has picked up once it's on the network. A lot of times, you, if your printer is a little more advanced, you might have to print out something like a configuration page, or you might be able to find it in the network settings, what it's automatically selected. Sometimes a configuration page will have a list and you'll have to read through the list and find somewhere in there it'll say IPv4 um, or IP address. So look for those. Once you've got that address, we'll come back to our computer here. So right here, we clicked the add new and it brought up this page here. And we'll now click standard TCP slash IP port. And we'll click new port and we'll hit next. And then we'll put in the IP address. Mine is 10.0.0.117. And then we'll hit next. And now you can see it found it. If you have the wrong address, it will not find it right away, but mine found it immediately. So we'll go ahead and hit finish and then close. And we'll verify that this has selected the right one and we'll hit apply. Don't forget to hit apply. Don't close, don't hit the X, hit apply. Now we can hit okay 
and you're good to go. From here, we can even do things like print a test page and now page will print out. Like I said, uh, the biggest difference on this whole process for everyone is going to be finding that IP address once you've connected it to a network. If you have troubles, uh, don't hesitate to reach out to Google. Uh, don't call Google, like Google it, hey, I have this model printer, how do I get the IP address? There are tons of tutorials out there and uh, even written descriptions on how to find that because even IT guys have to look that up sometimes. So if you have questions additional to this about any things that I've done in this video, please leave it down in the comment section below. Um, if you want to get the printer I have, I'll see if I can create a link for you guys to get that on Amazon. Um, I am an Amazon affiliate, so using those links do help to support me and this channel uh, with no additional cost to you. I'll also have a link to my Amazon affiliate store where you can see all of the things that I've done videos on or I recommend things like that. If you think I've earned it, please consider subscribing and I appreciate your guys' support so much and I'll see you guys in the next video.